Hey guys, how's it going? Zombie here with Xenoid Gaming. Today we are looking at Battlefield 2042, and it is in trouble, guys. Now, there's no surprise that uh, hackers would eventually make their way into the game. Warzone is actually kind of ruined for Call of Duty. It is not one of my favorite Battle uh, Royale modes. Warzone is not, but it was a fun game to play at time with friends. But one of the problems with it now is that you can barely play a match without running into a hacker or two. Uh, but that seems to be the issue we are going to see with Battlefield 2042 as well. For those of you who do not know, EA was hacked a few months back. And with the large amount of data and information that was stolen, the source code for the Frostbite engine was one of those things. So we were worried for a while that hacks may be working their way into the game really early on. And there was no rumors or information of hacks during the uh, closed technical test that they leaked a lot of the data and information from. But uh, according to Tom Henderson, for those of you guys who don't know who that is, he uh, has a lot of inside information whenever it comes to games like uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, stuff like that. He knows a lot of people in the industry, so he gets a lot of inside information. The things he says is not 100% guaranteed, but it's really accurate most of the time. But uh, according to this post from Twitter, he said, I recently spoke with a hacker provider about Battlefield 2042 cheats already being advertised. He replied, yeah, that game is, he says, we have seen a 400% rise in website traffic and signups in August over, over July, with a large amount of that coming from Battlefield 2042 searches. So there it is, guys. A lot of people are signing up to these apparently websites and stuff. They're paying money for these hacks. So these hackers are going to keep coming. They're going to keep getting paying for the program. So they're going to keep using it. And these people are going to keep providing these cheats and these hacks because they're paying for it. So, yeah, we're going to be overwhelmed. And what this is going to cause a lot of people to do, um, a lot of games I play now, that have the cross platform, even though I know people on the PlayStation and I know people on PC. And one of the good friends of mine that I play with and sometimes stream with is also on PC. It's hard to play with him and other people like that sometimes because the amount of hacks that you could run into in the game, it just gets really unfair for console people versus the PC, which is where most of these hacks are seen, majority of them. So normally I just turn it off when I'm not playing with those people because I don't want to be subjected to it many other people don't want to be subjected to it as well and i do know that there's a lot of people who have uh, a lot of streamers that i've seen have stopped streaming uh call of duty warzone only because the hackers are just so bad that they can't even play a legitimate game anymore uh these hacks that we're gonna see are wall hacks they're aim bots a lot of the things that you guys normally see um things of that nature but I just want to go ahead and make this short video about it. Um, if you guys want to know more information about Battlefield 2042 and other games like Halo coming up in the future, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, I'm currently sitting at a little over 700 uh, subscribers on YouTube. I'm hoping to, hope to hit 730 by the end of the month, and I want to keep bumping those numbers up if we can. Uh, preferably, if possible, maybe by the time Battlefield comes out or Halo, maybe I can reach 900 to 1,000 subscribers. But that would be my ultimate goal. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.